I'll make my way. I'm, 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 I'll make my way. Hello? Let me up? Oh, right, there's more stairs. Gotcha. Gotcha. So we're trying to find a receiver for our buddy. Barbara. Oh, yeah. Look at all this trash. We love trash. Hello? So it'd be up here, right? Oh, there's loads of... Loads of options. Ooh, damn, this is a... Tall lighthouse. Oh, find a radio. I must... I must have found it. <laughs> I didn't think I did, but I must have found it. Alright, Barbara, I'm coming. I have to go the long way, though. Soz, mate. There we go. See what she's yapping on about now. Any luck finding a radio receiver? Yes, I have. Approving bear noises. Oh, goodness, yes, that's it. Give it here. Um, darling? Static noises. Come on, you piece of... Oh, um, excuse me. You good, Barbara? Tonight at five, we finally find out what differentiates a hippo from a zippo. Static noises. Oh, you little static noises. Now, a new study published suggests that yes, crabs do think people walk sideways. Static noises. Just five days before the annual showing of the lights, a yearly tradition that's been a staple. Wait. For children and parents alike, the festivity now recognises a national holiday. Brings a joyful reminder to people all over the country of independence they fought for. Almost 15 years ago. But no one will be celebrating as hard as the party animals on this new porn line cruiser. This is it. Cheers in the background. I'll tell you what, Gary. Working below minimum wage feels like the last thing on these people's minds right now. Or mine. Click. Uh, I have to be somewhere. You have somewhere to be? Okay. Okay, Barbara. See you later, bro. I think she... I think she was in love with the captain. El Capitan. Okay. Is there... What is that? A plum. Quest area. Quest area. I am in the quest area. What is that? Sauna... Oh, sauna stones. Take the sauna stones back to Jack's in Winterbury. Okay. Ooh, there's more trash. Let me in. There we go. We're gonna build some dodge for some people. That'd be dope. Hope we see them move. Wade, I literally can't help you, buddy. I'm sorry. I literally don't have anything for you. There's nothing you can do about it. Alright. Let's go give the sauna stones to uh, Jax. Where is him? Where is he? Hello, buddy. Oh, he's outside. Hello. Uh, please, let me go around. There we go. <laughs> Hello. How goes the mission? Mission accomplished. Wonderful. These will come in handy. Thank you, my friend. You're a good bear. Ah, oh, shucks. Wait, I don't know how to feel about that one. How come? I thought compliments weren't good for you. Not the hollow ones, perhaps. But you weren't born a good bear. You made yourself into one. The same goes for insults. Well, neither feels like truth to me. Maybe they didn't come from the truth. Or they didn't stick the landing. Either way, it's you that has to give the green light. Let's see about warming up, shall we? That hot head of yours can only radiate so much warmth. I don't want to brag, but it is positively steaming. 
Yes, well, eventually you'll have to burn a couple of logs. Take this and make a little heating room. Ooh, we're gonna make a sauna. Old grandma's boiler recipe. I'll show you how to turn it on after. Heating. Areas with cold weather will need a utility room to compensate for low temperatures. Utility rooms need a heater. Uh, heaters are loud and messy, which means they carry a negative decoration score. Utility rooms will apply the negative decoration score in an area effect around them. You can see the deep bath area. Yeah, we know. In order to make heaters function, you will need to add fuel to them. If the temperature drops too low, the heaters will kick in and consume fuel at the rate of one per hour, granting heat. The goal of heating is to never drop below the level the guests require. Going over will have no effect. Better heaters will give more heat and have a smaller impact on decoration. Each utility room will heat up an entire building, so resorts with multiple buildings will require multiple utility rooms. Okie dokie. What am I doing? Build a utility. Build a utility room, right? Oh. Man, this place is massive. Maybe we should have the utility room at the front. Because then what we can do is we can have a kitchen and stuff. Why is that like that? Well, maybe we could have it back here. Utility. Utility room. Uh, two by three. One, two, three. Or do we want three and two? Probably that one. Should put a little door there. Never mind. And now we just have to build... I thought we'd have more stuff for the campsite, but maybe, maybe we get more stuff. I'm not sure. So what we can do is we can have the utility room and the kitchen to microphone in the same room, like the same area, and then it won't be as trash, you know, it won't be as poopy. Uh, done. Done it, boy. Where is he? Oh, he's asleep. No, there's no time for sleep. Come on now. Up you get. Have you made a home for your heater yet? Yes. Hey! Then it's only fair that you put it to good use. Oh, he's like, get out of my house while I'm trying to sleep, you absolute scrub. I don't think I put it in this one. I think I put it in the other one. Because we have two. Because this place is mahoosive. Hello. Have 99 bits of wood. There you go. I'm going to wake him up again. <laughs> Maybe we should have a little sleep. You know, let him sleep. Alright. Get up, nerd. Get up, nerd. How goes the heating adventure? Were you able to nourish the fire? Yes, it was very hungry. Good, you're almost a master of the craft now. Quite a cosy craft, being hospitable. Well, don't be fooled. The fire runs out quickly without a keen eye to watch over it. Make sure you give it plenty of light and water it every day. I know you're joking, but for a second there, I was about to go get a bucket. Who said I was joking? Jack's Burnables. Alright, so we've now unlocked this. Oh, you literally just buy fuel. Okay, fair. You have a question me. Well, if it isn't our gracious host, I've been meaning to ask, how did you end up here? Well, like most of our kind here, we often lived in the shadows of humans. Those of us they had are useful. I was lucky to be large enough that even your kind would have second thoughts. About finding the last snack before bed on the ski grounds. And that, of course, my coat being thick enough to survive outside. Others that were brought along were not as fortunate. There's always a fire running in your home, though. And I'm quite certain it will stay that way until the day I lie down for my last nap. You can grow a thick skin and a warm coat, but no one deserves to sleep out in the cold all their life. I only need five seconds outside to agree that. However, when the humans had a reason for celebration, their warmth was extended to all. I remember how we all gathered around the television and watched other humans tell stories. 
like a magical bonfire, keeping us all entranced. Will does that too. He watch. He makes us watch them with him. He keeps watching after we all doze off, and he's still there the next day. Stories are sometimes all we have when reality doesn't suit us very well. There's a big ruined building in High Lake. You might have passed it on your way here. An old radio and broadcast station. That's where the stories used to come from. How did a house tell stories? I'm no expert, but I might have something to do with the giant radio dish on top of it. You might be able to give your guests another chance at those stories. If you give the broadcast station the same treatment you gave the ski resort. Okay. Hey Jazz, how you doing? Nice of you to drop by again. Good to see your tail hasn't fallen off yet. It's holding on for dear life. You mentioned you had a uh, more... Naunced. Naunced? Reason for jeopardising your posterior in this cold. Something bequaint, you said. Zesty. Yeah. A friend asked me to go look for something unfamiliar to cook. Unfamiliar to whom? To my friend. I'm not familiar with what your friend is not familiar with. That word doesn't sound real to me anymore. Which word? I'm not familiar with it. <laughs> I liked you more before the sense of humour came out swinging. Yes, well, some things have a way of thawing out of you in the sauna. But I did say I could help you with your tasty quest in exchange for our little mission. And I'm adamant that your friend hasn't cooked one of these yet. Behold, the bitter lemon. I prefer to eat the things that don't hurt my food hole. On the contrary, anything that's worth its weight in salt needs a little contrast. All of this snow would be nothing but glacial misery if not for a little fire. I saved this lemon tree from the old greenhouse down the road. When chaos erupted in the valley, soft green life was not high on the list of protection against harm. Everything was pillaged or burnt. But this one sapling survived long enough to be evacuated. And in exchange for its life, it offered us its endurance, which I now pass on to you and your friend. And if your friend would need some more, uh, tell them a hardened but com comical character would be glad to offer it. I'm not familiar with who you're talking about. He's given me his lemon even though I took it last time. Haha, <laughs> there is a funny bone in there somewhere. <laughs> How's your day been, Jazz? How's it been? Where's the... Wait, wait, let, let me please... There we go. Let me please... Julia's here. Julian. She should give me the kitchen upgrade, right? Hopefully. Get out of the way, people. Ooh, trash. Give me that. Where is she? She's up here. Stressful? No! How come? Too many cakes to make? Ha, <laughs> see? I didn't get startled this time. Hello! Oh! Okay, maybe a little bit. You're back again. It's hard to get used to not being surprised by that. Did you find what you were looking for? Did I ever? I found what you were looking for. Oh, oh my golly. That's the ripest lemon I've ever seen. How did you get it? These don't grow anywhere. Oh, this bear has a few tricks up his, uh, behind his, uh, a big furry dog looking thing gave it to me. Said he procured it from the glacial greenhouse or something. The winterberry greenhouse. I thought it was gone. Well, it's still there, kind of. More like a brown house now. Sorry. This is incredible. I didn't think you could grow things like this anywhere in the valley. Well, you still can't. Nothing growing in there but my hate for all things cold. But we could if you fixed it, right? Like you did with the farmhouse? <laughs> I guess so. Yes, we could. If we have lemon seeds, who knows what else we could grow in there. Oh goodness, this is exciting. Okay, alright. I'll need some things. I'll need some plants to get started. Okay, so we're doing this. And Sam Camomile. Uh, yes, hurry up. Small succulent plant, one leafy contrast plant. Uh, I think we get that from Took. You made five orders, six others, lots of cupcakes and some slices and done lots of cleaning. Nice. Sounds like a productive day. Succulent plant. So this one leafy contrast plant boom boom did you find all the stuff for the greenhouse yes i got all of it all right 
These are good. I think there might be one more thing we need. But I think it'll be harder to get. Repair the greenhouse. I'm... That's, that shouldn't be too hard, right? Back to Winterbury, back, 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 back. What am I doing? Oh yeah, fixing the greenhouse. Dinner time, have a good dinner. What you got there? What you got there? Alright, let's go. Yes, I would like to, yes, yes. You need to clean it, I have already cleaned it. Yes. A bag of seeds, glass panels, and stone bricks. Where do I get a bag of seeds from? I'm assuming it's by the motel. Sausages, crispy tater slices, beans and sausage, and ketchup. That's a lot of sausage you got going on there, Jazz, to be honest. it's <laughs> a lot of sausage you got going on there. Yo, have you got seeds? Rice, syrup, flour. Hmm. A bag of seeds. Okay, well I don't know where to get the seeds, so what we're going to do is we're going to repair the broadcast station for now, instead. Um, that's in High Lake, I'm pretty sure. Near the, near the far end. I mean, I'm going to double check Julia's shop, but I'm not sure why she would ask me to go get a bag of seeds if she didn't already have it. I'm going to check anyway. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Grab some... I really don't need any more food, but I'm going to grab it anyway. I need to stop being such a hoarder. I'll go fix the... Fix the station. Okay. Hello there. Uh, yes, I would like to repair it. I have already cleaned it out. Don't worry about it. A tennis dish, a record player, and a microphone. I have all of those things. We've just collected that on our way. Yes. Get your butt to work. I think we can now put TVs in our houses. Uh, B&Bs, which is cool. Oh, cute. Look. That's empty, but it's cute nonetheless. Snacks. Um, I guess we'll wander up to Jack's then, because we're not actually that far away. We'll freeze our little booty off, shall we? Hello there. I don't really want to start up this B&B just yet, unless we have to, if it's going to unlock other things for us. Because I just, I want to get the other ones out of the way first. There's like too much going on. I mean, I could put Gus in every single one and he could sort it out. But I think that might get a bit expensive. Hey, buddy. Were you able to fix the station? Yes, it's back up and running. Good. You're going above and beyond, which is a rare sight. Here, these should help you give your guests a place to watch their stories. Oh, a cinema seat. Let's go. And a large flat screen TV recipe. A nice reprieve from their realities. Alright, thanks mate. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly, 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 quickly go in here. And I'm gonna take the wood out. Because there's a lot of wood in here and we don't need it yet. Because I'm not, I'm not building anything there. Um... It hasn't said that we need to... Do you have a quest for me now or something? No. Hmm. Do you sell? No. Okay. There's definitely the next thing to do. She said it might be hard to get, but she didn't... Okay, well maybe we'll go back to Julia. Maybe. Maybe she knows where to get it and maybe I have to ask. Hey, can you tell me where these seeds are? Come back when you fix... 
bruh. How am I supposed to find a bag of seeds? 